Good evening and good morning to everybody. Uh, looks like we've got a good turnout today uh, with Matsubashi Ryukaratika from around the world. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, today, again, we're very lucky and fortunate to have Arakaki Sensei here to teach us. Gohonagashimasu Sensei. And the um, subject today, Goju Shiho Kata. Um, the kata uh, and uh, its uh, principles and some applications. Hopefully we'll get through most of that within the next 90 minutes or so. And as we always do, we will leave a little bit of time at the end for questions and answers. We will take a break about halfway through too. Um, and um, there will be some practice time as we go along for you guys to practice some of the things that you're seeing today. Hi. Hi. Happy 53rd birthday, Mr. Steve Wilson. Kanpai. <笑>乾杯。え、皆さんお元気ですかこのウイルスもまたまた収束してませんけれども、まあしかしだいぶ落ちてきています。沖縄も。いいですか。はい。So <笑><笑> everybody hope you're very well. Um still seeing the virus continue here, but it looks like um this current wave is declining here in Okinawa, so we're hopeful that it is on the way out. では、こんばんは。え、50章について、あ、皆さんと一緒に勉強したいと思います。So uh, today, uh, we will be studying uh 50章 kata and we look forward to studying that along with you. で、まず最初に 50章の kata をジェームスとミュートスにちょっと肩をやってもらいますので、ご覧ください。Okay, so first we'll take a look at a demonstration of the kata. Lei. Kata, goju shiho. Goju shiho. Yoi. Ich. Ni. Sum. Shi. Go. Ei. Rok. Tich. はい。はい。2。3。はい。5。6。7。8。はい。長めの正直先生が作った普及型一応やらんという感じ。ごめんなさい。普及型一応やります。オッケー。先生、じゃあ、先生、じゃあ、先生、じゃあ、先生、じゃあ、先生、じゃあ、先生、じゃあ、先生
then really QCAT is the absolute, uh, the fundamentals. And so um, there's always so much value in doing a QCAT for practicing our fundamentals of Matsubashiru. Gojushio. Gojushio. Yoi. Eight. Ni. Sum. Si. Go. Sum. Lock. Chit. Eight. Eight. Hot. Cool. Tuskero. Jo. Eight. Eight. Ni. Sum. Sit. Go. Look. Sit. Sit. Hot. Cool. Jump. Sit. Hey. Nick. Sum. Hey. Go. Look, switch, hey, hey. hot, hey. Then hold it. Hey. One more time. Hey, hold it. Hold it. Switch. Hey, this is a uraken, isn't it? Uraken. Two. これもろ手受け。三。これも同じです。もろ手受け。四。かけ、これかけ受け。五。はい。六。かけ受け。はい。はい。はい。八。こう。これ抜きて。じゃ。Eight. Nukite des. Ni. Sam. Uketo kogeki des ne. Shit. Go. Hey. Hey. Rock. Hey. Hot. Koreva no Okinawa dewa. Drunk, drunk style. Yup, yup, parai. Hey! Go! Look! Touch! Uraken, hot! Oitsuki, go! Hey! 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 I said the name of the name, but I said the name of the name. So Sensei was naming the techniques as we go through there. So I will explain the language of the language. Okay, so let's look at some alternative principles and applications from the kata. じゃあ、ジェームス、いいです。こうやりました。こう。裏剣を、裏剣を入れました。これはどういう時に使うのか。So how do we use the opening move,、uh, the、uh, back fist? この、この裏剣とこの足先。ですね。でもうもう一度。もうこの水をさも動けない。足も踏んづけられてるし、これも顔面に裏裏毛もらってますので、はい。はい。次は。これがあります。こう、こう。これはモルテ、モルテ受けです。相手がこう掴んでくるのを受ける。
So this is a defense, two hands against somebody coming in to grab. いいかな。次はこのかけてがあります。1、2。こう。はい。そう。これもあの左も右にもありますね。この技が。もう1回。じゃ、今までの今までのところを最初から繰り返しています。最初からね。このこのこっちまで。裏剣。はい、あの。そう。うん。次は これがあります。そしてこの部分ですね。これはあの、さっきの抜けてみたいにして取って。はい。うん。あ、そう。次はこの技がありますこれ抜きてですね抜きて右左左左これでこうして抜きてしてで次こうやって全部パンチしてパンチはい見えないでしょうかねそうですやらせてないな<笑> パンチ。ああ、そうですね。すいません。はい。そうですね。はい。そうそう。もう一回。うん。これ抜かれました。今一回やりましたね。あ、もう一回。パンチ。え、また、あ、あ、あ、もう一回パンチ。お、また同じ技。ちょっと、ちょっとこれ、これで変わりますから。あ、はい。ちょっと見えないですよ、カメラ。はい
Yeah, one, two, three. So in and pull back. Yeah, and that's how we get to our neko asadachi. You need to make sure that you don't get punched by the first one, right? So you're, this, you have to make sure this one misses you. Yeah, and then you're going to collect it, trying to keep the energy going as you go through, and then come back down. Okay. okay. It works best if you're slightly off to an angle. If you stay absolutely dead straight on, they will just crash into you. So when they come in, start to work off to the side. Yeah. Here Miltos has turned a bit too much already, but the point is, is that you don't want to end up in front of his center, but offside so that his energy is not continuing to crash through you, but it's been diverted a bit. そうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそう
Okay, but we're using that momentum. And again, using Nekoashi to add snap to that movement. And from this position, again, you can, if you have the opportunity, you can look to trap the foot. Yeah, if you have the position, opportunity to trap the foot, that's good. If you have that, then what you can do next is amplified because you secure their front foot. And then you can drop through, yeah, drop through and put weight into both hands at once. So this is um, similar to um, <coughs> Passai, movement in Passai 1, 2, so, so, for so, example. Same, same. Right. same. Uh, Right. Right. So since they're saying you make the target the solar plexus. Yeah. I, I'm being a little bit kind to Miltos, but from there you could drop in both knuckles, Ippon Ken, and just drive through um, the Mizu Uchi, through the Essentially through the solar plexus. One thing to, to work on is using the body movement and the arm movement as one. Yeah, so it's not so much stepping and then doing the arms, right? You want to use the body movement and the arms together as one movement. It's an explosive, an explosive movement. Okay, so try and coordinate. That's stepping, and you're moving to an angle. Yeah, in a kata you move to like 45 degrees, right? So the line of force you're moving off that line of force. So again, you dissipate their forward momentum. Yeah, break that, and then drop in and hit strike. So that initial strike can be with the forearms because you're in close. You can be literally dropping the forearms in and hitting them, pushing them back. If you just want to make space. You can literally just hit with the forearms and open hands and literally just push them back to make space. If you want to be more aggressive, do more damage, then drop the fists in and strike to the, the solar plexus, as we just talked about. So let's say you're dealing with somebody that's a lot bigger than you. You're at a disadvantage in size. So when you're dealing with somebody that's got a size or strength advantage, you have to use your whole body. So just using your arms probably won't be enough. That's why you need to use the whole body to put as much so. acceleration and force into that movement. Body dropping, arms raising, same time. Nekoashi also has the effect of pulling you slightly backwards. So though you go in, you're pulling back. So again, you're, you're, you're extending them, taking their balance, hopefully, as well. Kakete. Okay, let's take a look at the next technique, uh, the kakiyuke or kakete. Okay, so when we're moving into kakyuke, again, we want to move offline, bring the hand down and catch at the wrist, pulling them forward, not dissipating their energy, but using it. So they're essentially going to walk into the first punch, second one. As you come back and pull, combine with a kick, and then strike down through chudan. At this point, their head should have dropped down to chudan, right? So you're more likely that you're going for a knockout punch here rather than a body punch at this point. So move offline, right? If you don't move offline, particularly against a bigger opponent, you're likely to get hit even if you try and block with your hands. From here, keep the momentum going, hit them as they come in. Hit, pull again, strike, and hit through. Even if they try, as Miltos instinctively did then, he tried to cover his face. It probably won't make any difference. At this range, with this angle, you'll hit him. If you hit his hand, you'll still hit his face. Yeah? So you're just going to drive through, bang, here, yeah? 
So right, left, kakite, hit, hit, pull, fold, hit through. Yeah, and here there's also the opportunity possibly for an arm lock on the way through or an arm wrench on the way through too. Hey. Should we uh, do it the other way? Uh, no, just same one. So in the kata, you do this left and right. So we just assume that you want to build this skill equally on the left side and the right side. If we look at um, just this from an angle, <clears throat> okay, so you can see I need to move offline. It's really important that I, I use my, my right hand so that my hand that ends up as the hikite, use this to set up my kakiyuke. You can try this. If you just try and catch, catch something kakiyuke, it's actually pretty difficult to do, particularly at speed. Yeah? You can try it. You might get it, but most times you won't if they're punching at real speed. Yeah? Yeah? One, one thing you can try and do is, is use a vertical hand to give you more of a catching surface, as essentially shuto, and then hook down and catch. But even then, it's pretty difficult to do. So you want to use surface this surface to kind of index where it is so that you can then pass and catch down. Yeah? When you're in the process of doing this, moving off <coughs> of your center line so that you're moving your target out of their strike zone. Right. Okay. okay, so uh, one variation which might come out naturally is if you end up in a, range, in a very close range, really too close to be able to get a kick in. If you don't have the time or the distance to be able to get front kick in, right? So if you end up in a very short my eye, then it's going to be hisageri instead, right? Just as, an, as a, a natural variation. So um, that also means that you're probably in more of a grappling range so that you can possibly grasp more of the head or the shoulders as opposed to working more on the, on the upper or lower limbs. So, so it just comes in the same. So at this point here, I'm already pretty close, right? From here, I can't, I can't get a, a front kick in. There's not enough space. So from here, just drive the knee instead. Yeah, bring the head down and strike. Okay. So one more time. It's just if you end up at a shorter distance, you will just naturally adapt, right? A knee will be just as devastating or more devastating than the kick. The main objective here is that you make, take advantage of the exposed ribs and break their stance and bring the chin down or the head down to strike. Okay, so look at a couple of applications for the next movement, which is the, the elbow, yeah? The elbow strike. So one application is from close range where they've grabbed you already Okay, and they're, and they're necessarily going to be pulling you, right? That's why they've grabbed you, right? The other hand probably getting set up to hit. So cover, drop the elbow in, and then look to extend. Yeah? So in the kata, we move straight into the forward elbow, but variations are possible. Yeah, so as you get grabbed, here, pushing through. Yeah? Try not to fight their energy, but try and work with it. You don't want to give in to them or collapse, but if you, if you try and fight against them, particularly if they're a bigger and stronger person, which we assume they might well be, otherwise why would they attack you? Um, then try and use the energy that they give you to do that, right? They're trying to pull you and bend their arm, so you can use that, right? Here. You can see that I'm moving in behind Miltos. If I drop, then I, finish, I break his stance, right? Okay. So Miltos' realistic attack is that he grabs and hits. Yeah, grabs and hits. So I can't leave this exposed. Yeah, when he grabs here. Oh. 
So actually it's pretty easy to, to, to pop him on the chin with the elbow once you get into range. Right? He grabs and hits. His energy is coming in here. I'm going to slide through and go look to pop him on the chin through there. Just really now I'm using structure because I didn't have any space to wind up and like hit from there. I'm sliding through and using structure, covering this one. Now when I just move into my Zen Kuzudachi, yeah, that gives me the down energy to finish breaking his stance. Okay, so, so moving into the next section of the kata, from here, yeah, we turn and, and thrust with nukite. So we cover and thrust with nukite. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to use angular movement. In the kata, we, it has us turning around, changing direction. Um, so when Miltos comes in, the cover, push down to get the angular movement. Yeah? So again, I want to uh, control the line, cover and control his hand. Yeah, there is a good chance that he's gonna, if he, if he sees that coming, he'll cover, but it's more likely that he's swinging for me, right? He's going to punch. I want to move through and strike. So the, angu the angular movement will help to protect me from getting hit. Wait, this one there. Yeah? I also have an opportunity to damage to damage his arm here and help to break, break his stance. So if I can put the damage into the arm, then I start to break his stance straight away anyway, yeah? So I'm not stabbing, I could stab like into his throat, I could go to grip, if I got the grip and the throat, let's pull. So the kata has us basically putting our hand forward, right? So there are a number of different vari uh, variations you can do with the open hand, yeah? Okay. So again, if you want to give that a try, so things to work on are now more angular movement and dropping, dropping weight down through the forearm. So you can work on that, destroying, destroying that his his forearm down on the muscle there before pushing up in the other direction. Good, easy, yeah. easy. Yeah. But just take it easy on your partner, right? This is a body weight, it dropped. Yeah, you can put your whole body weight into hitting. It's very, very effective, particularly if you've got hold of their, of their arm. Yeah, it works best if you've, if you've got hold of their arm so that you can effectively counter lever against that, right? You'd let, keep this one close to you. This is, a, this is the, the, the effect of your hikite, or holding in close, is that you anchor this so that when you strike through, it's much harder for them to, to move out of that way and reduce the damage, break his stance, and then spring back up the other way, right? So you want to use that bounce and strike. Mm. So we have the rolling hands movement. There's a number of different possible applications for this. We're going to work to the, to the inside of the guard first. So when Miltus comes in, we're going to come through cover and push, cover and push, and cover and push, continue this way. So let me if we work. We're going to work at an angle so you can see more of it. So I want to move inside, cover and strike. These things are happening at the same time. As he pulls back, go for the same. And again, go for the same. Okay. Okay. So we're going to slow it right down, yeah? So the movement is one, two, three. This is one sequence. And then we have another one, yeah? One, two, three. Okay. So one here, one, two, three, right? So if he's coming for, if he's lunging in this side, the first one is a cover, control, 
and push through. Yeah? So if he, if he lunges up my side, this is my closest hand. This is the one that's going to get there first. This one is slightly further away, right? It goes, has to go across the body. So it's just going to take a little bit longer to get there. Right? So if he punches quickly, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have time to cover if I'm lucky. And I need to be dropping down and being soft, not rigid. If I'm rigid, he's going to, I'm just going to get hit with all that force. So I need to be soft to try to deflect that force. If he punches hard, yeah, punches hard, yeah, punches hard, yeah. I need to be soft, soft in the body so that, so that I, I d um, diffuse his strike. Also, I'm moving in. Right, so his optimum hitting range, he's going to choose optimum hitting range, right, bang. Yeah, that's his optimum hitting range. I don't want to be here. I want to be inside that, so I start to diffuse momentum. So when he hits, yeah, I'm moving inside. Then cover, and then go through and push. Swing, again, cover, come through and push. Swings again, cover, come through and push. So one, two, three. Yeah, I'm covering. This is my deflection, control, and counter. Should we do it again? Maybe do it this way. Wait. Variation on that um, uh, is uh, where we're just moving in, moving in, parrying, and, and going straight for the hit. Parry and going straight for the hit. So uh, this would work uh, well for a straight punch. So Miltus comes in for a straight punch. Here, parry and go straight for the hit. Yeah, uh, it can be nukite or striking. Here, here, parry and go through for the hit. Okay, come on the other side. Here, come through, cover with the hand and strike. So this is happening same time, same time. Cool, go on Right, oh, and uh, yeah, and then you can use the fingers to roll into the eyes. So here, yeah, that one's good. Here, if you position the palm on the chin, then the fingers are nicely positioned to thrust through the eyes as well. Zarakaki sensei is special. Be <laughs> 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 Yeah, so kumanote or bare hand in, in kumanote in Japanese. Yeah. So how do you how do you kind of catch the chin? You kind of come from, from below, right? So when the strike's coming in, come from below. Yeah, you can even just run up the body until you get to the chin and then roll over with the fingers extended. Yeah, so coming up here, here. Yeah. Yeah. As long as he's making the point that even a light touch to the eyes is enough to disrupt, disrupt somebody's vision quite severely. Even a bit of dust in the eye you know, disrupts your vision, right? So even just a light touch with the fingers or the fingernails into the eyes is enough to, to really you know, damage the eyes and disrupt vision and therefore balance and composure as well, right? Okay, so we're going to look at the section of the kata where we're moving... Um, here, so we're doing our sotuke gyakuzuki, sotuke gyakuzuki. So it's important that we, um, we're not static when we're doing this. We need to move forward in order to maintain an effective range with, with the attacker. Um, so what that means in practice is if they come to hit, and I move back here, I'm out of effective range, right? So I need to move in higher on the arm so I can hit, or hit and slide in. Yeah, so using suriyashi or sliding feet, sliding stance. So when they're coming in with momentum, then yeah, I want to be in effective range. Right? And they hit again. Okay, so Miltos is being kind here, moving back into the space. But if, if they hit and hit, 
そして